that seems to take up most of my time. But sometimes I speculate that I haven't left room for. you, Susan. Morning, Madeline. Oh, good morning, Mr. Parrish. Everything okay? Yes, sir. Good. What's on the docket for today? Docket? Mm, yes, what shall we do? Well, I, I have to go to work and... Splendid, I'll join you. Come on. <laughs> Would you like to ride or walk? Walk. I wish to see the world. This is crazy. This is the left field thing of all time. I, uh... I don't know if I can get through this. What do I do? What do I tell my family? You'll get through this, Bill. As far as your family is concerned, uh, I wouldn't say anything. You ruined the great start we had last night. Hmm. It felt as if I was being treated like a person. Yes, Joe this, Joe that. And I smiled. Quince passed me the rules. No passion or rapture or any of these mighty things you're so intent on imparting. But I am certain. Should you say who I am, our adventure would end abruptly. Mm -hmm. And I did so enjoy your family. What about my family? This adventure involves only me, right? What do you mean? I'll tell you what. You promised this undertaking of yours involves only me and, uh... And what? I won't tell anyone who you are. Sounds fair enough. Good. Is it a deal? A deal. Yeah. You give your word, I give mine, that we'll do what we say. Mm -hmm. It is a, a truth exchanged between two people. Phil? Uh, you have a deal. Ow. That's great. Great. You know, I got to thinking. With you here, you seemingly occupied, how's your work going? I'm elsewhere. Well, you were shaving this morning. You weren't just shaving. What do you mean? You were hatching ideas, making plans, arriving at decisions, right? Yeah, I guess so. So you understand the concept. A part of you is busy doing one thing. Another part of you is doing another. Perhaps even attending to the problems of your work. Correct? Of course. So you understand the idea. Congratulations, Bill. Now multiply that by infinity. Take that to the depths of forever. And you still will barely have a glimpse of what I'm talking about. Joe? Yes, Bill. How about giving the guy a break? Make an exception? Well, there's one to every rule. Not this. And call my family. I'd like them to have dinner with me tonight. Didn't the family get together last night? Jennifer. Of course, Mr. Parrish. Right away. Uh, perhaps you'd like to wait in my office. No. What I'm trying to say is this is a board meeting and you're not a member I'm of the sure board. I'm sure you'll find a way to make it all right. 
Nice to meet you. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Thank you, Eddie. Uh, this is Joe Black. He's a, a personal associate of mine, and uh, hello, Quince. Hey, you'll be joining us this morning. I know this is unusual, and my apologies. And uh, do carry on. It's nice to see you. Didn't expect you, but uh, certainly you can't get enough of a good thing. Well, thank you, Joe. Would you like to sit there? Uh, the Board of Parish Communications is hereby called to order. Our sole order of... Our... S Our sole order of business today is a, uh, is an acceptance of John Bonacue's generous offer. And a you bill more of these delicious cookies. The jelly ones. Mm, and a cup of tea. With milk, I think. I'd like to try it English style. Yes. A cup of tea with milk, please. Is there anything else, Mr. Black? How about some water? Mm, why, yes, thank you. Hot or cold? Cold. And a glass? Hmm. That's a review. We're really crossing the T's and dotting the I's here. Now, Bill had a great and conclusive meeting yesterday with John.